If you do have those tiny little bumps on your forehead that doesn't seem to be exactly poppable like any other acne and they're not exactly whiteheads but they're kind of itchy and the acne treatment products are not working, high chance you might be struggling with fungal acne aka melesthesia folliculitis. This is the skin condition that we already talked about so I highly 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 recommend you guys to check out this video first before jumping into this video because I already touched on what the skin condition is, what the causes are, how you can treat it and what are the do's and don'ts. Today we're going to talk more specifically about products. What are the products that are safe for fungal acne? So I'm going to insert this cheat sheet. You guys can screenshot it and share it with your friends and family or anyone who's suffering from fungal acne and please spread this video to your friends because that really means a lot and my team and yes okay now your question might be what kind of products can i use a lot of you from my pom pom fam out there did submit some great product recommendations for fungal acne today i'm going to walk you through what your skincare regime can look like based on some product recommendations here and there so let's begin there are some general rules that you can pick up and the very first is less is more these Melesthesia, they grow stronger in a very warm and very moist environment. So, the more layer that you put on, it is going to create that very perfect environment for melesthesia to thrive. I'm not saying you guys should completely dry out your skin, but you have to really be aware of how many layers that you're putting on. Rule number two drop that sheet mask. Boom. It's best not to occlude any areas that you do have fungal acne and sheet masks work by occluding your skin and kind of force feeding your skin all the nutrients, all the ingredients that are soaked in the sheet. But simply ditch sheet mask for a while. Makeup remover. Oil is such a bad news for fungal acne so it might not be the best idea to opt for cleansing oils or cleansing balms. So I think the safest way is to use cleansing waters. And the one that I really really love is this L'Oreal micellar cleansing water for all skin types this is by far one of the most affordable options out there only five dollars and it is very very gentle yet super duper effective in melting away your foundation and the dirts and grimes on top of your face it leaves your skin super duper supple and hydrated and it comes with a really simple ingredient list that is fungal acne safe so the second cleansing is a category where you could be a little bit more generous or stress less about because it's a wash off product it doesn't stay on the skin and it wouldn't really have an effect on aggravating your fungal acne whatever cleanser that you choose moving on to hydrators my favorite category i'm gonna pack all of the toners essences and serums in this category like all the watery stuff let's begin with this product this is the believably artemisia balance essence you can't go wrong with this because it has only one single ingredient which is mugwort extract so mugwort is known to be relaxing, skin calming, soothing, and it also helps with redness. If you want more of a hydrating water toner, this could be another option that you can opt for it, which is Etude House Sunjung pH 5.5 Relief Toner. Everyone seems to love this. It is one of the most affordable options, and it has a really simple and compact tight ingredient list which is always 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 great for inflamed skin and fungal acne or just acne skin this also contains metacalcicide and panthenol which is going to be an amazing combination in relieving that irritation soothing down the skin rebuilding your skin barrier yeah you can't go wrong with this either if you want more of a hydrating option or if you are someone who is a fan of snail mucin this is a great option for fungal acne. This is called Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Whew, that was a mouthful. It is an anti-aging ingredient because it aids in the skin rejuvenating and regenerating process. Also, the texture of this is super slimy and kind of like sticky or almost gooey. So it does provide an intense amount of hydration and it kind of protects that hydration from evaporating. Now, honey-based or propolis-based products can immensely help because it's meant to be antiviral, antifungal, and antimicrobial 
so they are really really great for acne prone skin and fungal acne and I really adore this product from skin food it is royal honey propolis enrich essence and this is definitely a really 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 great serum to add in your winter skincare routine especially if you have part skin drier skin type I think this will definitely help nourish your skin this product does come with some fermented ingredients but it's not exactly the galactomyces so it may or may not exacerbate your fungal acne I can't say it's 100% safe but a lot of you still seem to love this product but if you want to be 100% fungal acne safe Cosrx makes a really really good one that is 100% safe moving on to probably the trickiest category which is the moisturizer and you really don't want to neglect moisturizing your skin the good news is that we have some fungal acne safe moisturizer options here we're gonna begin with some lightweight gel moisturizers the most popular options seem to be this one the aloe propolis gel from Benton and this is something that I really loved using during summertime when my skin was irritated and aggravated propolis is obviously very beneficial for fungal acne but the high concentration of the aloe vera leaf juice of this product makes this product really really soothing and hydrating and moisturizing it could be a great gel moisturizer alone in summertime but during the winter time it is a little bit too light if you're looking for a gel moisturizer that is a little bit thicker that's a little bit more moisturizing and more occlusive this Hada Labo skin plumping gel cream could be a wonderful option and I wouldn't say this come with the cleanest ingredients so if your ingredient standard is more green beauty, clean beauty. I don't think this is the right product for you. However, it does a really, really, really great job in not only quenching your skin with intense amount of hydration, but also protecting and preventing that hydration loss. So it is a really, really great hydrating moisturizer. I would even skip any kinds of hydrating step before this because it is that hydrating. It has three different kinds of hyaluronic acid and it also has urea, which is an amazing ingredient for fungal acne. So a lot of times fungal acne skin can be kind of suffering from overgrowth of keratin, which means that your skin is basically a little bit thicker. So so the urea, which is another keratolytic agent, can definitely help exfoliating and shed those dead skin cells away while intensely moisturizing your skin. If you want a milky lotion type of a moisturizer, this would be something that you might be interested in checking out, this is the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Fluid. I heard the Europe version does come with shea butter, which might not be ideal for fungal acne, but this only contains eight ingredients and it's mainly a mix of squalane and glycerin which are both amazing humectants and moisturizers for fungal acne so i highly recommend this this is just a really basic simple moisturizer and if you don't think this is moisturizing enough you can definitely add more squalane oil into this i would highly recommend you guys to invest in one just pure 100 squalane oil whether that's from indeedly which i use or biosans or there's a really 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 cheap skull lane oil from timeless skincare i'm gonna link every option below and mix it into this one or your other moisturizers or just use this alone it's similarly from that french pharmacy brand we have another one this is that vein tolerance or tolerance emulsion please make sure you're getting the emulsion because the cream does come with other ingredients that might not be the safe and it just looks identical so don't be confused and this product i love this entire range because it's perfect for hypersensitive skin or super duper irritated skin when you can't use anything on your skin because it stings or it tingles or it irritates your skin Go for the tolerance range because they are amazing i wouldn't say this is the most moisturizing option so i highly recommend you guys to add another moisture boost into this moisturizer that way your skin never dries out you guys don't know how happy i was when i discovered this product from the drugstore this is the avino ultra calming nourishing <laughs> 
Oh, sorry. Night cream. I have a hiccup. As always, Aveeno products are all based on collodial oats, which is a proven active ingredient to relieve sensitive, irritated skins. This has a beautiful, beautiful texture, and it also comes with a feverfew extract, which is known to add more calming benefits. I think it would be a great option for those who have drier skin type, yet who have fungal acne. Moving on to another tricky category, which is sunscreen. But the good news is we do have some options and the very first one is the Cot Face Tinted SPF 40 Broad Spectrum and this is 100% mineral sunscreen and it contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide and when I tried it out, it instantly reminded me of this, you know, one of those kind of poor perfecting primer. It does have that silicone-y feel and when I looked at the ingredient list, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide and all of the other silicone ingredients so it does not clog the pores so it is safe for acne prone skin as well and also even though this is tinted, it doesn't really have a tint once you blend it in. Another option is the Elta and the UV Clear Broad Spectrum S546. Not in the tinted version, but the original version. And I know a lot of you guys already love this product and I still love it too. And this is a blend of zinc oxide and octane oxide, so it's a hybrid sunscreen. And it doesn't have any problematic ingredient for fungal acne. Moving on to the treatments. These are the products that can relieve and really treat Malassezia folliculitis. First off, we have Nizril. I know this is the anti-dandruff shampoo, but it's something that I showed you in my last video and a lot of you guys have seen really really good results with this and applying it topically on top of the skin. So basically this product contains 1% of ketoconazole as the active ingredient. And ketoconazole is a really potent active ingredient that has numbers of research supporting how it can help the growth of malassezia folliculitis. The most common way to use this as a treatment is to apply apply this all over your forehead or on your problematic area and leave it as a mask so for about 10 to 15 minutes and wash it off right away. Another great option and a very effective treatment is raw honey using this organic raw honey that is totally edible and it's totally yummy. You can use this as a spot treatment, you can use it as a 10 minutes or a 5 minutes mask or you can wash your skin with it. It is somewhat gonna help with acne prone skin and fungal acne. It doesn't have a lot of studies regarding how this raw honey is going to help with malassezia folliculitis but it has a lot of testimonies from a lot of users who have used this for their fungal acne. It is one of the safest options too and readily available option too. Salicylic acid aka BHA can immensely help in relieving the malassezia folliculitis and the most popular option for fungal acne seems to be this tub of Stridex pads. And this is the maximum strength with 2% of salicylic acid. It is definitely not my favorite because it does have menthol and I find this a little bit too irritating for my sensitive skin. But if you have rather a tougher, thicker skin, this might be a great option to incorporate. Not every day, but a few times a week. Another salicylic acid based product in a moisturizer form is this Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. This contains 0.5% which is a very minimal amount of salicylic acid that is still effective. It would be a more gentle option to use it in a daily basis. Another popular option is this product. It's the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid and it's basically the 2% salicylic acid option but it is not 100% safe for fungal acne because it has polystorbate. So use it at your own risk. It is undeniably a really, really great product. If you want a blend of AHA and BHA together, this could be another option as well. This is the Glossier Solution Exfoliating Skin Perfector. It has a 10% blend of AHA, BHA, and PHA. And I find this to be a little bit too tingling and too stinging and a little bit irritating 
thing, but it is great for, again, someone who has really resilient skin. But do mind that this is not 100% fungal acne safe. So that is it. I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. If it was, please don't forget to share it with your friends. It really does mean a lot more than you might think. I'll talk to you guys on Instagram at Leah Yu, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.